Welcome back to the channel, my name's Jamison, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you all through how to set up and get running the Visual Boy Advance emulator, so you can all relive that classic nostalgia of playing the Game Boy Advance games. Let's get on with the video. Alright guys, to download this emulator, you're going to want to use one of the three links provided. They will be in the description below. For this video, I'm going to use the one in the emulator zone, and it's going to be Visual Boy Advance 1.8.0 Beta. We're going to tell it to download. Now you will need a zip folder extractor for this. I'm going to use WinRAR, but you could use 7-zip if you'd like. Videos may or may not be up on the channel on how to use them by now. Anyway, now that it's downloaded, we're going to go into our downloads in Chrome. Click Show in Folder. Close our web browser or minimize it. We're then going to drag this zip folder onto our desktop. Close our downloads folder. I'm going to place it inside my standalone emulators folder. I'm going to right click and click extract to folder name here. We can now delete the old zip folder. We're now going to want to open the Game Boy emulator. Click Visual Boy Advance EXE. It has a Game Boy icon. Alright, now we're going to want to change a few things before we run a ROM. First, go to options. Go into video, tell it to put VSync on, go back into the options and the video tab again, select render method, and if you're using an NVIDIA based graphics card, click OpenGL, it will run better. And one more time back into the video section, tell it to go times 4, now that we've done the video stuff, we're going to go back into options, into the filter section, and tell it to go HQ2X. I find this is the best for a standard experience. Tinker with the other things you want at your own discretion. Enable it. And now, before we configure the controller, we need to do one more thing, and that's adjust the sound. Change that to 44 kilohertz. Okay, good. Done. Now we go into options. Go down to joypad. Click configure. And whatever controller you'd like to be associated with a number, click that number. You can use a PS4 controller, an Xbox or a third party controller, or your mouse and keyboard. I'm going to probably connect the PS4 controller. Don't do it, it's a pain to set up. Use an Xbox or your keyboard. Alright, let's do that. If the emulator doesn't recognise your controller, merely close it down and open it again. Alright, we've opened it again. Go back to Joypad, Configure, Joypad 1. And this option here for speed is referring to fast forwarding the game. I'm going to leave it as space because I'm sitting at a desk. So I can easily hit the space bar rather than bumping it on my controller. Once that's done, click OK. And now we're ready to run a ROM. To do that, go File. Open. And this thing will search for your ROMs, but if it can't find them on Macly, simply use the drop down bar and go to wherever you've stored your ROMs. And I'm going to boot up Mega Man Battle Network 6. And just like that guys, you're running your old school Game Boy Advance ROMs on your PC. If you like this video, guys, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you'd like to leave some feedback, a suggestion for a future video, or just want to say good day, drop me a comment down below. And while you're thinking about that, tell me what your favourite Game Boy Advance game is. And hell, if you've got the time to do that, consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really help me out and help this channel grow. Anyway, my name's Jemison. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.